All right, time for another math easy solution. Trying to discuss uh, further into this video series, I'm going over derivative as a function and basically look at look at how it graphs and etc. Uh, as a function itself. And now look at uh, this first example. I'll do a couple more in later videos. And this one's on population growth. This helps to illustrate this concept. It's pretty good. I got this uh, example from my calculus books. I'm going to go over it right now because it's pretty useful. And this example states: Let b of t be the population of Belgium at time t and the table uh yeah the table below here gives mid-year just cross this out mid yeah mid-year values of the b of t or population in thousands from 1980 to 2000 and basically ask construct a table of values of the derivative of this function and if you recall the definition of derivative that is basically b of t in this case the limit yeah limit as h approaches zero of b of t plus h minus b of t or the population at t here all divided by h right here and since we're only given this table here there's a time and every single one of these is actually separated by two years right here so we could say delta t is equal to two because there's 1980 1982 1984 etc and we have these values right here and now basically if we're given this part here and since this one is really small compared to let's say 1980 that's a almost 2,000 years compared to two years, it's not a big difference. So basically what we could do, well, first let's just write this down if we were to go, let's say example at at basically t is equal to 1988 right here. So if it equals to something like that, and if you were to write using the definition of derivative, you're gonna get, yeah, so we'll just get something like this, limit as a h per zero of b of population 1988 plus this h minus Population 1988 all divided by h right here. But we could say that this is roughly equal to if we have h equals to zero right here. So h equals to zero. And we could basically get rid of this limit by saying it, it's approximately because, yeah, it's approximately just, yeah, it's approximately equal to, well, population 1988 plus two or 1990 and minus population 1988 all divided by two. And this is actually not zero, this is a two right here. So if it equals to two, um, yeah, so it's basically really small and basically we could say that it's uh, roughly that because this 1980 is really large compared to this two. And recall, well, if you were to write this one out, let's just call this actually B forward or F of 1988 because you're going forward in this calculation and you're doing, and you're doing a B of 1990 all divided, yeah, minus B of 1988 divided by 2 right here and now if you were to do the same thing but let's say let h equals to negative 2 so instead of working forward you could work backwards and then you could call let's say b of backwards right here equal to of this is of, of 1988 equals to an exact same stuff above you're gonna get b of well now 1986 because you're going backwards in this case minus b of 1988 all divided by, yeah, by negative two right here. And you're usually gonna get a negative number on top divided by negative, so you're gonna have a positive uh, slope or derivative. And now if you were to basically look at the average of these two, and this would, we would say that this is approximately B of 1988. If we just go the average or B forward uh, derivative plus B backwards derivative all divided by two right here. And if we were to go about this calculation for this one right here, well, if we write b forward right here of 1988, this equals two. If we scroll up here, this one is, well, 9962 minus 9884. So we could write 9962 minus 9884 all divided by two and now this one if you put in a calculator this equals two so yeah this equals to 39 or 39,000 uh yeah 39,000 populations per year increase right here so that's how fast it's increasing from the forward one roughly but if you were to look backwards of this so b of backwards at 1988 so now you're going to be putting inputting instead of uh well we're going to go backwards we could just find out what 1986 is and this is put 884, this is number 1988. So if we go to 1988, and then at 1986, 9862 versus 9962. So 9862 all divided by negative 
uh, 2 right here. And as you can see, this is less than this. It's going to be negative divided by negative. It's going to be a positive number. If you put in a calculator, this one is actually... Um, yeah, so this one's basically just 11,000 per year increase right now. And if you do this, the, the same thing for the whole table. So yeah, if you do this for the whole table, like I've actually made an Excel file right here with this, this table right here. And I've calculated B forward for every single one. So basically, uh, this minus this divided by 2. And as, it, as you can see, if we scroll down to the 1988, we have 39. And also for the backwards now, so you go instead of forward, you go backwards divided by uh, negative 2, etc. You're going to get now, this is this 39.11. Then if you take an average of that, it should be 25. Yeah, actually, yeah, uh, I forgot to write that here first. So this is plus 11, all divided by 2. Take an average of these two slopes, and we're going to get, well, 25,000 per year. Yeah, per year increase. And we say that this is, well, this is going to be closer than these two. These are changing a lot, and this is probably the closer one to what it actually is. And that is basically what I have in this column right here, which is taking just the average of these two. I have average, you could do average or add them and divided by two, etc. Except now, except that the endpoints, uh, if we look at 1980, there is no 1978 data. We weren't given that, so I just put an NA right here, and this just equals to the forward. So basically, we do an average except the endpoints. And, it's, it's, and even in the forward derivative, in this case, there's no 2002 data, so we just put and a or hashtag and a not applicable and this average is going to be equal to this and now i've actually graphed both of the uh population and the derivative function so the blue is this blue one right here is the population as you can see it's increasing the whole time except uh, actually except this part is a bit going down right here uh, except as you can see that the slopes are different so this red one so since this point right here is actually going down right here close to zero and that's what's happening right here. So it's like close to two right here. So barely any increase. And then all of a sudden it's it's increasing really fast at a maximum basically in 1990. That's the fastest rate of increase. And you could see that from this slope right here. So this slope is the high or uh, yeah, this is the highest one over here. That that accounts for the highest slope. And and uh, once again to get an idea of why we're doing the forward and backward. If you look at this one right here, this is the forward slope, this is the backward slope, so we're just taking an average of the slope we because we're not sure uh, how fast it's uh, basically going. So we just take an average of the both, both the slopes. And basically, as you can see, now it's tailoring off. This population is tailoring off, and now you can see that in the derivative. number of derivative is can be interpreted as a rate of change, and this one is going down to close to zero. Well. Well, this is basically all for today. I just wanted to go over how you can graph random uh, tables of uh, population or whatever kind of data and, and plot the derivative using this kind of estimate right here. Well, that's all for today. Remember, you can always download uh, these exact Excel file, yeah, this exact Excel file, and these notes all in the Dropbox links below. And thanks for watching, and stay tuned for another math easy solution.